Thank you very much. Um, my name is Katrina Delaghi. My company is called Tiger Health. And Tiger stands for Time is Your Greatest Asset. So in my talk today, I'm going to first get the slide projector to work. Oops. It's a joke of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got it. Um, so Tiger stands for Time is Your Greatest Health. Time is your greatest asset. And time is actually one of the most important concepts in healthcare, partly through timely intervention, but also through the questions that a doctor asks you about the sequence of events and how your condition or your problem has progressed. Secondly, I'm going to talk today about what's called self-report. And those are the symptoms for which there isn't a, a device. It's not automated. The things that the doctor asks you, how are you feeling? Um, how was your pain? Um, if you've had side effects from medication, things that actually vary over time that aren't necessarily constant but are a very important part of understanding um, what the right treatment is. And the third kind of theme within the talk is data. And there are lots of people at this conference talking about big data, but actually what we're talking about here is personally meaningful and contextually relevant little data. The data that is collected by individuals between consultations. So the concept is very, very simple. The concept is that the patient can use a simple app on their phone to be able to record how they're progressing with various symptoms as, as they happen. And that can be in the middle of the night, it can be any time, and that those data are immediately available to the, the clinician via a dashboard, a dynamically managed dashboard. And the point about it is that these symptoms that vary over time, there might be something, it might be nothing, it might be the beginning of something really serious, it might disappear. So we tend to put off going to see the doctor. And by the time we go to see the doctor, then there are three issues. Firstly, um, giving self-report data takes a long time, so it takes a large percentage of the consultation time, whether that is face-to-face, -face, by Skype, by phone, by any means. But also, that self-report data, because you maybe waited to see the doctor, um, you're relying on memory, and it's subject to recall error. So you can understand that the better evidence that the doctor gets, the more chance he has of getting the diagnosis right first time. So in the interests of better, better care, then better pri providing better evidence helps. So eliminating the problem of forgetfulness of what happened when, what made it better, what made it worse, what were you doing at the time. All of that can be captured just in time by the patient on an entirely voluntary basis. And the third part is that when relating those symptoms and the sequence of events to a doctor, then those sequences are not written down. The doctor puts a summary in his notes. So there isn't actually a record either of, did I remember to tell him? What did I remember at the time? Did I forget? Or from the doctor's point of view, well, if the patient didn't tell him, then he can't be blamed for not knowing. So the essence of that is um, dynamic management. So to have a very, very simple app that allows the patient to record when it's fresh in their mind, close to the event, exactly what they want to say. And those little bits add up to a pattern. And what we have here is the doctor effectively from their dashboard can control what, what is seen on the app, so what the patient collects. And that dynamic management enables us to deliver to, to support person-centered care. So there's no rule that says you can only have one long-term condition at a time. Many people have several. So rather than having several apps for self-report, being able to manage that dynamically so you're asking the patient exactly about their condition in context at the time. But actually the process of manually recording rather than just relying on automated data means that you have an awareness of the pattern of what might be affecting your symptoms of what's actually because you had a, a big night out the night before but can be the basis of self-management, which is what we're all aiming for, to put people in control of their own health. But having much better data actually will allow for more timely intervention, perhaps for earlier diagnosis, perhaps for earlier choices, and more choices that can help the patient and the healthcare system. So the core to it all in this case, and this is complementary to a great many of the other technologies that we see and hear about, that are using sensors and various automated techniques. But this is the complement to provide the context and the meaning that helps to get the better solutions for people at the earliest opportunity. So with that, I shall leave you and thank you. Time is your greatest asset. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.